Hey friends, Hamid here. Coming up, these are the points that I'll cover in this video. Structure of the others purpose question. What are you required to do? The strategy and I'll show you how to implement the strategy on a TOEFL reading passage. Let's start with the structure. When you see why does the author, that is when you know that this is an author's purpose question. Author will be mentioned there. And then the sentence will also be highlighted. Let's take a look. Here we see why does the author provide, you now know that this is an author's purpose question. Also sentence is highlighted in the question section as well as in the passage section. The question is basically, why has the author included the sentence? What is his purpose? It's very similar to the inference question. You need to understand why he has included that information. So what is the strategy? Let's talk about the strategy. It's real simple. Don't read answer choices. Don't waste time there. Instead, read the sentence immediately above the highlighted sentence. Because, well, often answer is usually a sentence above. It's usually in the neighboring sentence. Sometimes it will be below, but often it, it is above. Then eliminate answer choices. Let me show you this in this demo practice. Here I see that the author, why does the author provide this information? It's highlighted. So I know that this is an author's purpose question. So I need, I read the sentence. Available data indicate the discarded biomass organic matter from living things amount to 25 to 30 percent of offshore cash or about 30 million metric tons ha huh. why has he included this my strategy is i need to go and sentence above because by catch often goes unreported it's difficult to accurately estimate its extent ha huh. so the author said here that biomass is often unreported it's really hard to understand the, the size of the bycatch. But it said that 25 to 30% of the offshore catch is still bycatch. And this is just available data. A lot of data is not available because why? Because, well, it's, it's not reported. So why has he included? I think now you need to predict why. I think he has included this sentence to show you that yes, bycatch is unreported, but from the available data, we know that this is a problem. 25 to 30 person or 30 million metric tons, it's back. So it's a huge problem. Now, eliminate answer choices. To disprove the claim that it is difficult to accurately estimate the extent of the bycatch problem. Not really. He just said that 30 million metric tons in the available data. So that's not the reason. To illustrate the extreme effectiveness of the long line in trolling methods. No, it, it was not even there. To suggest that uncertainty about the true extent of bycatch does not leave in doubt that it is a problem. Ha, huh, this sounds really good. Yes, there is uncertainty about the size, the, the, the extent, because it's not reported, but that doesn't mean that this is not a problem. 30 million metric tons. 25 to 30 person. So this is the reason why he has provided this information. And lastly, to indicate that data about bycatch are available only from fishers having the right kind of gear. No, not at all. This was not even there. So my answer choice is the third one. All right, with that, I will see you in the next video.